hey guys welcome to rainbow tech and i am wish in this video i am gonna reviewing the cyanogen mode 14 version that is cm14 which runs on android 7 android and nougat so let's get started so first of all this is not an um, official build it's an unofficial build and it has so many bugs and it's not stable as you can see uh, it's running on android version 7.0 on my motorola moto g3 as you can see i'm getting android and icon and kernel version build number build date it's written recently build update the new features are as you can see the notifications when you uh, when you uh, slide the notification area you will get the quick notification bars here Wi-Fi mobile signal battery silent or auto rotate modes after that you can drag the notification and you will get the complete uh, sh notification shortcuts and here you can edit the tile bars and you can add more options like data saver and you even you can organize the um, organize the shortcuts as you can see i have added one data saver option and the, as we have multi user accounts here the multi user account is not there in the motorola moto g3 the uh, uh, this uh, stock version as it is a cyanogen mode it has many other features the in in settings as you can see uh, in settings there is a cellular data option above and there is suggestions like screen lock i have not set the screen lock and change wallpaper option after that we have wi-fi option i think there is no upgrade in the wi-fi option then there is a bluetooth sim card these are the common options and here in the data usage they have changed so uh, some options like uh, here itself we can on or uh, off the data here at the same time for both the networks and easily we can um, use the data limits here and billing cycle we can change e uh, change easily and as you can see here in the uh, here this icon will be there uh, left corner and I will get the all the setting options here and in more options I have normal cellular networks in cellular networks I am having so many options like LTE, LTE only there are so many options I have not seen these much of options in any of the ROM and other functions are the same here we have adaptive brightness brightness level and sleep sleep time double twist for camera option leaves to wake phone size in phone size setting they have give the demonstrations here of the phone size as I am increasing the phone size is increasing decreasing and it will give a quick demonstrations here when device is rotated card screen and battery light and notification lights option here we have the notification access settings we can Follow or block for individual apps, which is a good feature. And the sound settings, these all are normal sound settings. There is no no new features in that. 
app settings i think some app privileges has been changed app permissions there is no much difference oh. and here in the storage we will get the storage information we can use the external storage as a, that is sd card as internal storage or portable storage in battery options we have the battery saver options we can turn it on and off as it is a pre-built uh, as, is, as it is charging so it's not turning on now it is turning on as you can see the battery saver is more optimized now compared to the android 6. Point, uh, 6.1 the 6.0 that is marshmallow and and I can change the battery saver options when battery uh, downs to 5% or 15% here is the quick graph of uh, battery usage and after that we have memory utilizations options and user options we can add user give privileges here you can all as you can see the notification uh, is quite different when it comes uh, comes a message or it looks like uh, uh, a card stack type uh, look gesture shortcuts chop chop double twist for camera and location settings these dollars uh, and there is no much change here accounts privacy language backup date um, accessibility settings and Let's see in developer options anything we have changed. We get new features. A multi process web view. I don't know what it will do. Use BD begin. Let's enable it. Do we get any other new features here? no no we will not get there is many other new features as uh, the looks is quietly in, uh, upgraded we have audio effects options in your uh, in cyanogen mode browser browser is working nice in uh, yeah as i told it's not a stable rom uh, phone calls and all are working messaging also working My mobile data is also working but camera is not working it's showing an error after that we have file manager yeah in file manager we, um, we are unable um, I'm not able to install any apps if I were try to install it will show an error it's a bug actually and uh, here the uh, here we have if we double tap the uh, recent up button then we will get the recent option uh, recent tap option if we double tap again oh let's see yeah it will switch to other uh, recent apps as you can see the which is a uh, uh, recent app um, after the file manager we have messaging if we double tap we will get uh, file manager if we double tap again we will get messaging if we long press the messaging then we will get the multi window option here we can choose any other apps and we can use this multi window here you can see in the portrait and landscape mode both the modes we can use the multi window option we can resize the window and we can use it
yeah it's resizing is not properly working because all built-in apps are not not working correctly for the multi window options they have to upgrade the apps once they will upgrade then we will we can use looks are pretty good and battery life also good improved actually this is a cyanogen mode launcher and that's all guys thank you for watching if you think this video is useful then go ahead and give thumbs up for more videos subscribe to my channel thank you